Hi everybody, welcome back to Cross Tour of Tony. In this video, we're going to change the lock. As you know, in my last video, I got uh, two new GV Trekker side cases with their new keys. The new keys don't open this lock. On opening the second uh, side case, I found a new a new barrel. So I'm going to show you now how to change the barrel so we only use one key for the three cases. So I can get rid of my uh, old keys. Catch you in a minute. So the first thing we need to do is to open up the box. Go inside at the back and you'll find two small screws. Let's do that. <laughs> He's set. Right, let's go inside and have a look. So we're now inside the uh, top box. Well, not literally, but I've got my head down in here. And you can see one screw here, one screw here. Now we need to take these out. It's an easy job, but if you're a little bit scared of venturing, then this video, video will help you. That's what they're for, how-to jobs. Okay, those two screws are out. Now then, the two screws have been taken out from inside. It is so simple, it just pulls away from the bottom and drops away like this. Simple as that. This is just a little plastic push button. Put it inside so we don't lose it. So all we're going to have to do now to change our barrel is to undo this nut here. Undo the nut. We can take this. The GV have given a new uh, locking system there. So let's get on and do that next. I'm using a 10 millimeter ended spanner and we're just going to loosen this off. Well, on there very tight anyway. Once that's loosened off, there's a nut. And GV provide all these new pieces. Place my spanner and then we just wiggle this piece off. Something just fell down on the floor, fellas. I think it's a ball bearing on a spring. So there's a spring. I've just dropped the ball bearing. I've got to find it on the floor. Which obviously locks into this little recess. There's two recesses. So I've got to find the, uh, the ball bearing. Down we go. I found you, you little bugger. Come here. So, so believe it or not, I'm very lucky to find this. So we're looking on the floor here of all these uh, cracks and joints. And this little baby was down in the crack, just there. So, I'm in luck. Thank you, man above. So, I will preciously put this inside. Now then, let's get the new piece. There's the new barrel. And the other one has just literally, it just, just falls out. Nothing holding that in there at all. I've oiled it, there's lots of oil on it. I've just washed the bike, so it's a bit wet in there as well. So, here's the new one, same thing, I'm just going to pop it in, it's in, I'm going to have to do this uh, probably inside the top box, so that I don't drop anything on the floor, so let's go in the top box guys. There is a way to fit this, now I don't know if you can see here. There are, there's a little lug cut out inside there. Let's have a look. Uh, 
I don't know, maybe you can see this once it's on, on the television. There's just a small lug cut out in there and on this there is a lug at the top. And if you put it in upside down nothing happens, which I did at first. It doesn't move anywhere. So my little tip is, you'll see on your barrel the code number. The code number goes to the top and now it functions correctly. Okay, now let's get on. This is a simple job. It's only going to take me five minutes once I've cut all this film out. So, there's that little spring that pops on there. Here's my ball bearing that goes on there. Here's my new bits. Mm, no, I'm not going to change that bit. So, let's change this one. For the new one, it must go on here, if I remember correctly. Snatch it onto that ball bearing. Now he's dropped out again. <laughs> okay. That up. It's like one of those little kids games, isn't it? We used to buy uh, for your children. You've got a little round thing with a, a root and you had a ball bearing. You had to make this ball bearing go round and round until it dropped it home. Uh, that's about what I've got here. So let's try and push that on and get the ball bearings dropped on again, <laughs> I think. Oh no, she's still there. I don't know what that noise was. Something dropped. It's still in there. Okay, so let's just um, put in the lock, the lock in. I want to try and get round here so you can see better. My great big old mauler's in the way. Just turn this on. Before I do it tight, I want to make sure it works. There's the ball bearing. Oh, don't say I put it in upside down. Back to front, round the wrong way. Well, cut. So what have I done wrong here? Oh, I've put that on there. That's supposed to be further around, I think. Take off the nut and its washer. Remove this bit carefully so we don't lose the ball bearing. Where are you? There's another hole there. And that's that way. Got it again. So here we try again. And again before I do it up nice and tight. I'll make sure it works. Me, me, me. You can't see anything on the big maulers. Come around here. Right, let's give her a couple of turns. So we don't drop the wash the ball bearing. You can see the ball bearing in there. How oh, can I turn it so you can see? If I point to it with a screwdriver, not this way, but this way, can you see that in there? Just there. There's a little ball bearing. Ah, there you can see him. There you can see him. So you need that in there. Right. Oh, done it right. So when you put it back together, we can see it functions nice and smooth. Now I'm going to do it up tight now and put a little bit of oil on there. A bit of 3-in-1 oil or a bit of WD-40 or whatever you wish. There, that's good. So a little spot on my ball bearing, there we go. Oh dear me, so smooth. So smooth, right. This is all done. The next step is to put it back together in reverse order. So we don't forget our little piece here. 
this goes in, the lug goes at the top. Make sure your lock is in the position there. Pop that in like this. And now this part, can you see? Right, it's getting close. This part, this lug, locks up under there. So as we push it in, just make sure you're, you're locked in under there. Whoop, missed it, see? There, now I've got it. Where do I need to go? Into there. You go in there. And you go in there. There's a top in. The top's on. So, we're there. Now we put the screws back and it's done. So that screw's going back in there. Don't forget you've got to hold the the, the outside of the case or else it will just push in and out. That's nice and tight. Looking at these GV locks, uh, I wouldn't leave my crown jewels in the top case overnight. If somebody could just come along quite easily, I think, and uh, have them away. So let's see now if it functions correctly. There we go. There you go, fellas. Nice, easy, simple job. Two screws, one nut. Change your, your lock in your top case if you've brought new GV side cases. So you've got one key to do all three cases. So much easier. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to Cross Tour Tony on that little button down below there in that uh, corner of the screen. You can see it. Hit that button. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about me. And then hit the like bell to get all these new videos that are coming up. Thanks again everybody for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.